Hi guys, welcome to another video from Forex Pro. So in today's video, as you can see here by our screen, in today's video we will talk about Questro World and um, its fake investment fund called Atlantic Global Asset Management. So as you can see here in our YouTube channel, in the past three to four months ago, we did uh, publish two videos saying that uh, Questra World it's, it's a scam and that you should not invest your money. So as you can see here, we did publish a video saying that Austria and Belgium did uh, issue a warning about this scam and also our review for the Questra World scam. Also, we made uh, an article saying why it is a, it's a scam and why you should not invest your money in Portuguese. But so now let's continue talking about the scam Questor World and more reasons why you should not invest your money and why it's a scam. So as you can see here by the Alexa ranking graph for AtlanticGam.es and also for QuestorWorld.es. So as you can see here, they their chart is not growing up too much as they would want would want because as you can see this is a scam and as a scam as a ponzi scheme they always need more and more and more and more people to join the scheme or the scheme is going to collapse and they don't have money for everyone to pay because that's how ponzi schemes work every ponzi scheme is destined to to collapse so there is no there is no strategy or no way to to have a ponzi scheme that takes all the time or it's going to never to collapse that doesn't exist because there is no money to pay everyone because the money that uh, some people are receiving is the money from other idiots that are joining the scheme so as you can see there is no money for everyone and that's why the scheme collapses that's no no problems with the justice in some countries or with the system it's just how it works every ponzi scheme and so as you can see here in the beginning they had a big grow here and also here but now they are getting a little stable and they are not growing as much as they would want and so, as you can see, now they are inventing some lies. Now they are saying that they are going to have their own bank or that they are going to open office in Dubai and also in Singapore. But these are some bullshit or strategies that every Ponzi scheme creates to attract more people and to make people keep the money, the virtual money on their Questra World account because if people ask for the money, the scheme, as the scheme doesn't have any money or the money that they said that they have, the scheme is going to collapse because there is no money to pay everyone. And so they now are creating new lies. But before we go to the lies, we have here one website that you should visit and you should um, assess and read all the texts that they have here. It's the scamquestra.com. So um, we first we need to thank you, the guy that did uh, share this website with us, because this website has a lot of information about the scam Questra wall and its owners. As you can see here, this guy is here are the owners of this scheme that's why they are always posting photos with the expensive things or that they are saying that they are earning money but in reality this is their ponzi scheme so that's why they are saying some bullshit also you can find here not only this page it's in russian but you can find this page in german in english in polish or even in spanish but um, first we need to advise you that uh, the russian pages are have more content than the the other languages as you can see here they don't have too many 
content as the Russian one. That's why if you want to find more information or all the information, you should visit here the Russian page, but you can translate it through Google Translator. Also, here in the comments page for the article about the Quest World scam on BehindMLM.com, you can see that um, also here another one user said about this website scamquester.com also here you can find more information you can find here a comment that says everything so if you did join the scheme or you still have some doubts you can see here what you should do so as you can see in the presentations they said that ecobank is their partner but as this user is saying ecobank is not a partner they just did issue the cards, but um, they can do it with anyone. They can issue a card for you or for any company. Does, that doesn't make you a partner. Also, they didn't buy TACV or the Cabo Verde Airlines. They didn't buy the airline company in Cabo Verde. That's a lie. And if you don't think that this is a lie, you can contact them, it's simple. Also, Bloomberg is not a partner of Quester World or Athletic Global Asset Management. There is no partner partnership between Bloomberg and this scheme. Also, there is no proofs where the money comes from, as you can see. They only did just post some graphs and more lies so people think that this is a good investment and one more thing or two more things here they said that they are going to open a, a new office in singapore and also uh, in dubai so um, as you can see here this is too easy to do and every ponzi scheme does that so there is no um, there is no new thing here this is the same strategy as other ponzi schemes you can rent an office in Singapore or in Dubai for some dollars. That's just as um, easy thing to do. And also here, this is this is bullshit. As you can see here, now they are saying that they are going to have their own bank, the Quester Bank, by 2019. And so, as you can see here, we are now in 2017. So they are saying that they are going to have a bank in 2019 so they can get some time some more months to this scheme because as you can see this scheme is now close to the collapse because as you can see the new people joining the scheme is not growing and also as this is a Ponzi scheme they al always need money so by by saying these lies that they are going to open offices in singapore or dubai or even that they are going to have their bank in 2019. These are some lies that every Ponzi scheme creates, so people invest more money on the scheme and they don't take the money out. And so, as you can see, also if you don't believe in us, you can see one lie or the same lie that was used in another Ponzi scheme, which was Traffic Munson. So if you don't know, Traffic Monsoon into in the beginning of uh, 2016 Traffic, Traffic Monsoon did say that they were going to open their own bank in Dubai World Trade Center called it TM World Bank but as you can see now there is no Traffic Monsoon scam and there is no TM World Bank as you can see this is the same lie as other Ponzi schemes and so before we finish our video please don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel and also to give a thumbs up to this video